Guys, it's Michael, KD8TUT, and I'm here to document a minor cooling mod, very minor, nothing all that extensive, uh, to my Apache Labs NN100D. Now, some of the older NN100Ds, I understand, uh, got very, very hot. This unit did not get very, very hot. It just got hot. And uh, I, I, I want to extend the life of electronics, so I decided to come up with a way to cool it. Now, it had been discussed on the uh, Apache uh, Labs uh, mail list about uh, putting a 120 millimeter fan on top of the radio, and that's where I got that idea, uh, because the outside case, of course, is the heat sink. But what I did was a slight modification on that idea. What I did is I added a... Uh, a pretty old school heat sink off of an abandoned computer and uh, what I did was is I fixed it to the top of the unit uh, with a silver oxide heat sink compound which it, when it dries it becomes uh, like an adhesive uh, this is good stuff and it conducts heat very well and the heat sink is uh, way above or right above the uh, the transmitter finals so we did that, and uh, I noticed also that uh, uh, this groove and this groove were roughly 120 millimeters apart. So I found some old uh, logic board standoffs uh, that were used in a computer that fit the holes on these fans and used them uh, to hold the uh, fan up off of the case about, oh, I don't know, uh, three-eighths of an inch, something like that, and uh, put the two concepts together. Uh, this is what it looks like, of course, in place. The fan will still slide front to back, but will not slide side to side, which was the one I was more concerned about. And uh, you can see how the air moves directly over the heat sink. Now this fan is running at its lowest speed. What I did was I got a hold of an old school computer fan controller. In this case, I had it laid around, laying around. Uh, you can also use those speed limiting resistors uh, that they sell with various fan packages. And I brought the speed down to next to nothing. That means there's uh, no noise, no whoosh, and there's no air blowing off of the top of this to bother me, like uh, blowing into my ear because I sit in a different orientation. This is off to my right hand side. So. That solved any perceived problem with this unit getting very, very hot. Uh, I haven't measured the actual heat, but it would go from, God, that's hot now. Well, without it, you'd be like, boy, that's hot. And without it, you'd be like, that's lukewarm. The biggest heat areas were right where the heat sink was and the side of the case here, which I assume is because of the power supply. And uh, now neither one of these places really gets hot, although this is still the warmest part on the radio. Uh, this part, which would eventually get hot, doesn't um, get hot at all. It stays completely uh, cool. Uh, it takes about a minute from this to, for this to go from uh, having from a transmission cycle to go from lukewarm to uh, pretty much just above room temperature. So this was the little solution that I came up with. Um, obviously, I'm powering it off of the same power supply which powers the radio, and uh, it just uh, it just works fine, so I'm fairly happy with it. Now, if this helps someone, I'm glad. And if not, I apologize very much for wasting four minutes of your life. This is Michael, KD8TUT. Thanks. Bye.